Team? Ja. Warte mal, Moment. Oh Gott, ja, okay, zieh. Oh. So today we are trying out uh, a water rocket. So this is a one liter Coke bottle for the uh, German impound system, heavy duty. A, a cone, a nose cone and a Gardena style connector and some fins I have printed. And here at the side is a kind of Gatling style launcher. So we can make it point in any directions, but we are mainly shooting uh, vertical so otherwise the rocket will fly anywhere. Here is a, here come, come closely. This is a Gardena style connector that is uh, attached with some 3D printed applications. And if I pull here the line, you can see, then it will dis get disconnected. And the bottle will be inserted here, this way, goes all the way down into the Gardena connector and when I press firmly it will snap in. But I'm not going to do that now. I will fill the bottle first with water. So, okay. So now I have here a cup of water and I will have a syringe and I will put the water in here. So this syringe has something like 65 milliliters per stroke and I will apply five times that volume And the last one. Okay. So now I will insert that into the launcher. I keep it upright, otherwise some water will ooze out. Is it okay this way? Okay. So I press now until it makes click. That was the click. Okay, and now I have here a pump that has an indicator gauge and I have a five to, uh, I will pump to five bars, which is something like 70 PSI. I don't dare to go higher. Uh, maybe other people go up to, uh, I think, nine and a half bars, something like 120 PSI, but I won't go that far. So I pump now. You can see the bubbles here going into the, into the water. And as I'm pumping, you can uh, see the dial gouge. Come on here. So we are now at something like one and a half bars. Now we'll go to five. So here we are. So now you better go away very, very far. So uh, I will just show the single pieces of the cookbook launcher uh, a little bit more in detail. So I will remove this bottle. So the bottle has the nose cone here and as you can see a little bit, oh, it's a bit foggy, it's just uh, fitted with some double-sided foam tape here to the, to the bottle. It actually has some cracks because we had a hard landing. And this is the tail, I will just take the nozzle, the bottle apart. 
here on the inside you can see now the fins they are just a stick into this nozzle for quicker replacement because they can sometimes break I added a small rip here so it is a bit more stiffer against against bending so yes there's one special fin um, that can be equipped with a small I call it a sugar cube camera and the seals so there is one seal inside here and another one another one right here and these are taken from the standard Gardena connector so I have one here so it says Gardena and you strip off this the seal here in this place and the other one here from inside and then it will be watertight Now we'll remove the other bits. So this here is the shooter's space. It is attached with two M8 by, I guess, 30 millimeter screws. Then uh, I fear the, the ropes for launching. So if you pull that, the Gardena connector is just pulled back. And it will release the bottle instantly. So this part is just from an ordinary garden hose. The brand is called Gardena. I have removed this lower bit. That is normally for clamping the hose. And now I can remove that. Now I will uh, unattach these two bolts. The print part is actually quite simple. Two identical pieces. Now the Gardena connector goes inside here. And then this bottom piece consists of two pieces. I have to actually glued them together. So here is the, the thread that I've copied from the Gardena connector. And maybe the last part that is interesting to know is that this is this here is just from an ordinary car tire the valve is uh, just roughly cut out and it seals because this sharp edge here goes onto Now that goes onto that valve rubber and as you tighten this one down it will be get pressed against that annulus and like this it will be absolutely airtight so nothing nothing will uh, rinse out or pour out and one final word about that bottle this is a one liter bottle that can be purchased at every supermarket in Germany. It is a recycling bottle, so the wall is actually much thicker than the standard bottles that you... I think the US people are often using two liter uh, bottles and non-recyclable, so they are a bit thinner in wall and I think they, they inflate these bottles to 120 psi, what I have seen, which is around nine bars, nine and a half bars. I just dared to go to up to five bars and it is really a difference. Every bar is making a big difference in the, in the power of flying. 
So uh, if anybody dares to go to 10 bars with this bottle, I wonder if that printed connector will, will stand that. But I think then it will be just insane, <laughs> insane flying hate. <laughs> It doesn't do any justice. If you see that that flying on the video, it is really incredibly powerful and very, very high. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. We now go to seven bars. Seven. Oh, wo ist er da hinten? Oh. Hast du sie? Ach herrje. Ach, da bist du ja. Na also, da haben wir sie.